Heavenly Father, we come before you this very night and we declare warfare against every form of sickness and every form of spiritual infirmities that are coming against those within the body of your creation today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You said that your word goes forth and brings healing to all who hear. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your living word you said that your word is life to those who find it and medicine to all of their flesh so today by our confession we apply the word of God giving voice to it today for you said in Psalm 139 verse 14 that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and that your works are marvelous we declare that we are created by you and that we are marvelous Marvelous creation. Lord, we speak to sickness and disease today and proclaim that according to Philippians 2.10, every name in heaven, on earth and under the earth, bows to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we speak to sickness and infirmities today and declare that we have authority over it. We command it to receive the word of God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 8.17 proclaims that Jesus bore our sicknesses and took our infirmities. Heavenly Father, we thank you that the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us and makes us alive for our mortal bodies. We speak to the immune systems and command them to line up with the Word of God. We thank you, Father, that every cell, every blood cell, even responds to the Word of God, that your Word permeates bodies from the top of their heads to the bottom of their feet. Lord, we confess that the Word Word of God is being made flesh in all who have come for prayer today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 103 verse 3 declares that you, Father, forgive all our iniquities and heal all of our diseases. Father, we thank you that it is your confession that we make it our confession also. Lord, we pray, I don't judge by sight of our eyes, but we judge by the living word today. It is your word that lives in us and brings health and healing to every part of our body. Heavenly Father, we rejoice that the promises that you have given for divine health, you said it and we believe it today. We declare it that we will see your promise of healing manifest in all who have prayed this prayer as we continue with these prayer points. Prayer one, the soul of Christ Christ, sanctify me now. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Jesus, enebrate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you, from the evil one. Protect me at the hour of my death. Call me and bid me to come to you, that we with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of his cross, his blood and his resurrection, we take authority over all curses, hexes, spells, voodoos, practices, witchcraft assignments, satanic rituals, incantations and evil wishes that have been sent our way or have passed down through the generations generational bloodline. We break their influence over their life by the power of the risen Lord Jesus Christ and we command those curses to go back to where they came from and to be replaced with blessings that they'll no longer come and bring curses of sickness upon our life. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for and renounce all negative inner vows and agreements that have been made with the enemy and we ask that the Lord Jesus Christ release us from any bondage that may have held in us. We claim your shed blood over all aspects of our lives and relationships and ministry, endeavors and finances. We thank you for your in 
enduring love, your angelic protection, and for the fullness of your abundant blessings. Spirit of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, most holy Trinity, descend upon us. Please purify us, mold us, fill us with your presence, and use us. Banish all the forces of the evil from us. Destroy them, vanquish them, so that I can be healthy and also do good deeds. Banish from us all spells, witchcraft, black magic, demonic assignments, and in the evil eye, diabolic infections, oppressions, possessions, all that is evil and sinful, jealousy, treachery, envy, all physical, even psychological, moral, spiritual, any diabolical alignments, as well as any enticing spirits, deaf, dumb, blind, mute, sleeping spirits, new age spirits, occult spirits, religious spirits, antichrist spirits, and any other spirits of death and darkness. We command and bind all the powers who molest us by the power of God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, to leave us forever and to be consigned into the everlasting lake of fire that they may never again touch us or any other creature in the entire world. Lord, we armor ourselves today with the power of the Most High Trinity in the oneness of God, creator of the universe. We armor ourselves today with the baptism of Christ, his crucifixion and resurrection, his ascension and glorious second coming. Lord, we armor ourselves today with God's guidance to direct us, God's might to sustain us, God's God's wisdom to instruct us, God's word to give us speech, God's shield to protect us, God's army to defend us, and to come against any snares of demons, against the lure of vices, against all who plot for our harm. Lord, we invoke all these virtues today against every hostile and merciless power that may assail us against the incantations of false prophets prophets, against the black laws of heathenism, against the full, fal, false laws of heresy, against the deceits of idolatry, against every evil art and spell that binds the soul to evil. Christ guard us today against every poison, burning, drowning, and fatal wounding. Christ be with us. Christ be behind us. Christ be within us. Christ be beside us. Christ be be with us and win us. Christ to comfort and restore us. Christ to be where danger threatens. Christ to be in the hearts of all those around us forever. Heavenly Father, in the name of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, we denounce Satan and all of his works, all forms of witchcraft and use of the divination, the practice of sorcery, dealing with mediums, channeling with spirit guides, the orgy board, astrology, reiki, hypnosis, automatic writing, horoscopes, numerology, all types of fortune telling, palm reading, levitation, and anything else associated with the occult or Satan. We renounce and forsake any involvements in all of them in the name of Jesus Christ, who come in the flesh and by the power of his cross, his blood, and his resurrection, we break their hold over their life. Lord, we confess all of our sins before you and ask you to cleanse and forgive us today as we forgive ourselves and ask Lord Jesus to enter our hearts and create in us a kind of person you have intended us to be. We ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to baptize us and just baptize as you baptize your disciples on the day of Pentecost. Let it be so today. We thank you Heavenly Father for strengthening our inner spirit with the power of your Holy Spirit so that Christ may dwell in our hearts forever through faith rooted and grounded in love that we may be able to comprehend with all of the saints and beneath and then the, the length and the height and the width and the depth of Christ's love which surpasses all understanding. Heavenly Father, we 
thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of his cross and his blood and his resurrection. We bind you, Satan, the spirits and powers and forces of darkness that neither world and the evil forces of nature. We take authority over all curses, hexes, demonic activity and spells directed against us, our relationships, ministry, endeavors, finances and the work of our hands. Lord, we break them by the power and the authority of the risen Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we stand with the power of our Lord God Almighty to bind all demonic interaction, interplay and communications between spirits sent against us and send them directly to Jesus Christ for him to deal with as he wills. We ask forgiveness and renounce all negative inner voices that we have made with the enemy. And we ask that Jesus Christ release us from these vows and from any bondage that may have held in us. We claim the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, over every aspect of our life for our protection. Amen. Oh God, oh Lord, King of ages, all powerful and almighty, who has made everything and who transformed everything simply by your will. You have changed into the dew the flames of seven times hotter furnace and protected and saved your three holy children. You are the doctor and physician of my soul. You are the salvation of those who turn to you. We beseech thee to take and make powerless, banish and drive out every diabolical power and presence, every evil influence, malefice or any evil eye and all evil actions aimed against us. Whether there is envy and malice, give us an abundance of goodness, endurance and victory and charity. Oh Lord, you who love man, I beg, we beg before you to reach out your powerful hands and your most high and mighty arms and come and aid us right now. Send your angel of peace over us to protect our bodies and soul. May we keep at bay and vanquish every evil power, every poison or malice invoked against us by corrupt or envious people. Then under the protection of your authority, may I sing with gratitude. The Lord is my salvation. Whom should I fear? I will not fear any evil because you are with me, my God, my strength, my power. Lord, Lord of peace, Father of ages. Amen. The Lord Jesus, please forgive us for all the times that we have not submitted to your will in our lives. Please forgive us for all of our sin for actions, making agreements with the enemy or anything that has broken your heart. Lord, we come before you today that you will forgive us. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We are praying for you. We love you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.